ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Sunday, September the 7th edition. And let's get right to some sky cam images and holy mackerel. What is this murky look out here? Yes, it's something we haven't seen in quite some time, and that is some dense fog. The result, of course, is a dense fog advisory through mid-morning for much of north and central Alabama. And uh, kind of an interesting shot at Cheeha. Going to be interesting to see when we get a little more daylight up there. I think the fog may be below the mountaintop, and that could be an interesting shot. And Clanton, another example of that dense fog. Well, we have a couple of boundaries in our area. We have one uh, to our southeast uh, that was the one responsible for a few showers yesterday morning. And we didn't see much along that yesterday, but I think if any showers occur, they'll be along that boundary, extreme southeast Alabama and over into uh, the southern part of Georgia. Another boundary across the central U.S. And, of course, down there in the lower right corner of your picture is Ike. 500 millibar pattern. Westerly is still a little bit uh, across the northern half of the United States, across the Great Lakes with the trough there. And, of course, we're watching Ike come out of the tropics. Temperature-wise, still... Beginning to see that hint of fall across the northern tier of the United States and uh, some cooler temperatures, some 36 values up there in, in uh, Canada and a few in the United States as well across central Alabama. A little bit cooler this morning than we've seen over the last several days with uh, temperatures dropping back into the mid and upper 60s. Though I think we'll see a lot of sunshine today. Now, QPF, uh, a couple of QPF areas. Uh, one is in the upper right, and that is Hannah leaving New England. And Hannah's getting out of the picture. Uh, in the center of your picture, that is uh, rainfall from uh, frontal system coming across the northern tier of the United States. And then across the Gulf, guess what? Here comes Ike and another heavy rainfall event. All right, let's get to the tropics. And uh, we'll uh, start off with Hannah. Of course, uh, the satellite missed a few images up there, but Hannah is uh, passing or was passing across uh, Long Island in uh, New England today, and we'll be out of the picture, I think, later this afternoon. Uh, in the middle of the picture is Ike, and Ike is approaching the uh, eastern end of Cuba. And then uh, we still have the remnants of Josephine, but Josephine is no longer, and uh, no advisories on it, but there is a little bit of thunderstorm activity there, so something to keep our eye on. Gulf waters are uh, still warm. Not as warm as they were uh, last week before Gustav. I think we've lost about two degrees or so, and uh, that's good. A little less heat uh, for the uh, tropical system to uh, go with. Now, here is Hannah, and we'll uh, take these in order here. There's Hannah uh, headed up through uh, the last uh, parts of the United States, and you can see the forecast taking it off uh, through the Canadian Maritimes and then off uh, into the extreme northern Atlantic. All right, here's Ike. Oh, Great-looking shot. Category 4 storm. Uh, I believe winds on the order of 135 to 140 miles an hour. And uh, the uh, computer models are now beginning to take um, Ike. Get my storm straight. We've had so many here recently. Uh, beginning to take Ike into the central gulf. Looks like, uh, of course, it's going to have to go across Cuba. Here's the uh, official track. This is from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, uh, hurricane warnings in effect for a good portion of the Bahamas, as well as the uh, eastern half of Cuba. And I suspect uh, hurricane warnings will be issued for much of the rest of Cuba. And I would expect to see something uh, in the way of a watch uh, or perhaps a tropical storm warning for the Keys uh, later this morning or perhaps early this afternoon. Uh, so it looks like uh, Ike will enter the... Southeastern Gulf uh, early on Wednesday or very late on Tuesday or early on Wednesday. And then, of course, it's still a little bit problematic as to where Ike will be headed, but it could still impact central Alabama with some rain uh, late uh, in the weekend. All right, here's the 06E GFS uh, model run. And, uh, of course, uh, we're focusing on Ike down there in the lower right part of the picture, but also the westerlies pretty far to the north. And that should keep us relatively dry today and stay relatively dry tomorrow. Again, some, you know, a slight chance that we might see some showers down across uh, the uh, southeastern sections. Uh, 
a, a weak front approaching on uh, Tuesday could give us uh, some chances for uh, showers. And then by Wednesday, uh, we're watching uh, pretty much a ridge over the central plains, and uh, that um, upper ridge is going to help to keep Ike in the central gulf. But in the meantime, we're watching the development of a short wave coming across uh, the northwest United States, and that, uh, again, will uh, likely keep Ike in the central gulf and uh, continue on a kind of a northwesterly track. By uh, Thursday, uh, Ike is uh, at 500 millibars anyway. The reflection of Ike is uh, dead center of the gulf, and you can see that it's a, a formidable storm. It looks like it will be at least a Category 3 or perhaps a Category 4. I think uh, on the current track it will weaken as it comes across Cuba. By Friday, it is now uh, getting close to impinging on the Louisiana coast, and so it looks like uh, landfall could be uh, over in the uh, northwestern Gulf, uh, Louisiana, and the uh, upper Texas coast. By Saturday, uh, the GFS is now suggesting that the upper reflection anyway will be right on the Louisiana, central Louisiana coast, uh, not a long way from the uh, impact of Gustav. And, of course, we see the surface uh, pattern there. And, of course, with the upper flow, uh, the, the trough across the northern tier of the United States, we should see uh, Ike get picked up. And by Sunday, uh, it shows it over uh, pretty much uh, the Mid-South area or perhaps uh, in the vicinity of Tupelo. That puts us kind of on the wet side. So it looks like we could see, if this track is correct, we could see a pretty uh, wet weekend. And then by Monday, uh, the uh, trough... Uh, it sharpens up over the central U.S., and that should take Ike very quickly up into New York and be out of here, uh, but will be drying out on Monday. Now, real quick, out into voodoo land, uh, looks like uh, we get a ridge back by uh, Friday the 19th of September, and then it looks like we stay under that ridge uh, through about the 22nd. So it looks like we get back to a fairly benign uh, weather pattern uh, according to the Voodoo Country and the GFS. Well, thanks for tuning in. Certainly hope that you have a great weekend. James should be back with the next Weather Extreme video bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a great Sunday and God bless.